I'm Matt Bichard with Nary, and I'm here in London for EPRA's annual convention. Joining me is Frank Haggerty, Portfolio Manager with Duff & Phelps Investment Management. So Frank, where do you see the best real estate investment options in Europe right now? You know, Matt, right now we see the best opportunities really in three main areas, and I'm going to focus more on the securities markets than the underlying real estate markets. And so really where we're most focused today are in European self-storage, uh, the Nordic countries, particularly uh, Norwegian office, and then also, uh, thirdly, German residential is another area that we find very attractive today. Great. And what European markets do you see as facing the biggest challenges? So as we've heard over the last couple of days here at EPRA, it's very clear that a number of the markets uh, economically are challenged, politically challenged, fiscally challenged, and that obviously you know, reverberates into the outlook for real estate in those various markets. Uh, so clearly some of the most challenged markets, uh, Italy, Greece, Spain, are areas that uh, you know, we don't have as much exposure to today uh, for those top-down macro reasons. Uh, but then also there's countries uh, such as Switzerland, which actually have performed very well most recently, primarily because of the appreciation in the currency. And that you know, is an area of concern for us as well as that may backfire and actually you know, we're starting to see that where it might negatively impact the growth outlook for that country and so while the securities have performed well on a US dollar basis and that's our base currency uh, that is another area of potential concern in the months ahead. And what impact has the expansion of REITs across Europe had on the commercial real estate investment market? You know, interestingly, it has not had probably the impact, the positive impact that uh, many would have hoped uh, when they first, you know, came into uh, origination. So, you know, we saw obviously the adoption of the REIT structure in the UK and Germany as well, just in the last number of years. And it's not necessarily created the you know, uh, capital formation that many would have expected or hoped for at that time. Obviously, the environment's been fairly challenging uh, since the introduction of those REIT structures. I, I think the initial uh, reasons why they were brought about are still sound, uh, and I think over time you'll see structural changes to some of those REIT structures that might facilitate further growth in the market. And so it, it's definitely a long-term positive benefit uh, for the real estate capital markets here in Europe, and it's something that I expect to see you know, grow over time. Uh, but initially I would say it's been somewhat disappointing that it's not had necessarily the positive effects that many would have hoped for initially. Now if we could just shift back to the U.S. Uh, it's been an interesting few months there. Um, what's your take on where U.S. REIT prices are right now? And is there still room for more growth? What do you see there? Sure. You know, when we uh, start out each year at our firm, Duff & Phelps Investment Management, we always put out a year ahead forecast. Uh, we always put together a base case, potential total return for the year ahead. And obviously, uh, there's bandwidth around that. And we always highlight upside and downside risks that potentially may come about that could cause you know, returns to differ from our base case. And so if you look at you know, our expectations for 2011 were that we would see potentially a 6 to 8 percent total return uh, from the U.S. real estate securities market. Uh, we've obviously seen you know, the bandwidth come into play as both upside and downside risks uh, became evident. More recently, some of the potential downside risks have reared their head. And so we've seen a tightening in the capital markets. Risk premiums have increased more recently. And so we've seen the security prices pull back from their recent highs. But because of that, we do see some upside over the balance of the year. And so you know, currently we're slightly below our base case expectation. Uh, we would still hold true to that. And so we see something like a high single digit to potentially low double digit return uh, from U.S. real estate securities prices uh, this year. More importantly, I would highlight that you know, historically what we've seen is you know, post a bear market, which typically lasts about two years for U.S. real estate securities, uh, we typically see anywhere from a five to seven year up cycle in the security prices. And so we still think it's early days and that we are still in that upward uh, cycle. And so you know, regardless of what the ultimate absolute return are from the securities this year, we still think we're you know, somewhere about halfway through a up cycle in the security prices over the next few years. Great. Frank, thank you very much for joining us. For more on the global real estate investment landscape, be sure to visit REIT.com as well as EPRA.com.